Hello, I'm Fires, and this video is going to show you step by step how to start mining PowerCoin with your AMD video card on a Windows based computer. To start, let's make a list of things we'll be using. First, you'll need a PowerCoin address to send your rewards to. Preferably, this would be a personal wallet address that you control, but some exchanges may allow you to mine directly to your account's PowerCoin wallet. Setting up a wallet's pretty easy, and there may be already videos out there that describe this action. Secondly, you'll need to find a mining program that allows you to mine the NIST5 algorithm coins. This video is going to be using SGMiner 5.6.1, NiceHash 51 Windows AMD64, but there are other miners out there that would also work. A link to the repository where you can find this miner can be found down in the notes. Third, you'll need a decompression tool like 7-zip or WinZip to extract the files from the downloaded .zip file. And lastly, we'll need to find a mining pool that has a power coin mining pool. Currently there is only one, but as the project grows, likely there will be others. So for this guide, we'll be using hashpool.eu. Step 1. Open up your power coin wallet and go to the Receive Coins tab. Click the New Address button at the bottom here, and let's name this address Miner Wallet. This is optional to name it, but it'll help you organize your wallet later. This address is the address we'll be using for our mining software, so the pool will know where to send your rewards. Step 2. Go to the link down in the notes for the SG Miner program. It is possible that there may be a newer version when you check it, but they will all set up basically the same. Download the appropriate package here. Most modern computers will be able to run Windows 64-bit, so grab the one that ends in amd64.zip. After the download completes, you need to extract it. Go to the location you downloaded it to and right click on the file. If there isn't an option to extract with or extract all, you may need to install a decompression application like WinZip or 7-Zip. So right click on this file and select Extract All. This will give you the option on where you want to extract the files to. By default, it will attempt to extract them to a new folder in the current directory with the same name. So you could either enter a new location where you want the files, or just go over the default and hit Extract. Most of the files in this folder are the different configurations for the miner, as this one is capable of mining many different algorithms. The only one that's different is the actual executable SGMiner. But unlike most programs you're familiar with, we don't start the miner by directly double-clicking on this .exe file. Instead, we need to create a new file that will tell our operating system that you want to run this program and then enter a few parameters to direct it how to behave. Which leads us to step three. This is the tricky part, so make sure you pay close attention. We need to create this file that will get the miner to run. We start by creating a simple text document. You can create this document inside the folder with the miner files if you want. Just right click, go to new, then select text document. Let's name this template just so we can find it later if we need to. Now double click this new file so we can edit it. Step 4. Now that we can edit our startup file, we need to figure out what we need for a few of the variables. 1. We need our wallet address that we set up in step 1. 2. We need the web address of the pool. And 3. We need the port the pool wants us to use. So let's browse over to the only current working PowerCoin pool, hashpool.eu, and check it out. Over on the left side, here they indicate that we need to point our minor programs at pool.hashpool.eu, followed by a port that will define which coin pool they're offering. If we look over here on the right side, we see that PowerCoin is listed in the NIST5 algorithm section, and the port listed is 2502. So now let's put it all together. We start with our file with the name of the minor executable, which is sgminer.exe. Follow that with a dash K. This allows us to instruct the miner what algorithm we're going to be using. Normally, we would just state NAST5 here, but this miner is a bit tricky and doesn't obviously list it. Instead, we will use talkcoin dash mod for our algorithm. Now, we use dash O to set up our pool target and we lead it with stratum plus TCP colon slash slash followed by pool.hashpool.eu. We follow that directly with a colon and then our port number, which was 2502. Next instruction is our wallet address. So we'll start with a dash U. 
Then copy paste in your wallet address. Never attempt to type in a wallet address. Always copy paste. Dash P is a generic input parameter. Some pools require you to enter a password here, but hashpool.eu allows you to use this freely. You could name the card or the machine that you're using or simply put a big X here. Doesn't really matter. Finally, we'll put a dash I here, and that's dash I the letter, not a one. This sets the intensity of your miner. This is a value you can monkey around with, alter it up or down to see how your current setup behaves. Maybe it'll squeeze out a few more hash power depending on how this is set, but let's just start it at 15. Now, if we just save this file, it'll save it as a text file and it won't do anything, but open up a text file we were looking at. So instead, we're gonna have to save it as a .bat file. To do this, we'll hit File, Save As, now, we can name it like Power Start or PowerCoin Start or whatever, but you want the name to end in .bat. Don't hit save yet. If you did, it would just save this as a text file with the name whatever whatever .bat. You need to modify the type at the bottom to all files. This will save the file as the extension type .bat, which is what we want. Step five. Finally, we look in our folder and we find our new .bat file and double click it. The mining operation should launch and you should start seeing accepted blah, 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 blah messages as your program is finding acceptable shares and sending them to the pool. The last step, the final step is verifying that the pool is getting your shares. On the hashpool.eu site, click on the wallet at the top. Now enter your wallet address that we've been using. As soon as they have received a few shares from your miner, this page should start showing you stats to help you track your progress and the progress of the pool. Once your account reaches the threshold for payment, the pool will send your share to your wallet. Well, I hope you've been able to follow along and now possess the skills required to set up your own PowerCoin mining operation with your AMD card on your Windows machine. Please consider liking these videos and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment below and find the Power Discord channel, which is linked below in the notes for more support and information.